I'm Mike West, and this is a review of the Volkswagen CC. Volkswagen calls it a four-door coupe. Really don't understand that. I mean, is there a two-door sedan? Well, anyway, let's take a look. Remember those chopped roof cars from the 50s? Well, Volkswagen says that this car was inspired by those old rigs. Yeah, I can see that. The CC has the same 106.7 inch wheelbase as the classic Passat, but the CC is longer by 0.6 inches at both ends. This car is only 56 inches tall. Humans over 6 feet tall sitting in the rear seat may bump their heads on the ceiling. It is 1.2 inches lower than your normal Passat. The CC's interior is rock solid, well put together, great plastic and leather. It just looks and feels classy. This is your 280 horsepower V6 from Volkswagen. Zero to 60 in about 6.6 .6 seconds. Pretty good. Gas mileage, uh, 19 in the city, 29 on the highway. About average for a V6. Start car, start. There she goes. The ride of the CC is firm and, well, German. Maybe not quite on par with, say, a BMW 3 Series, but pretty darn close. The navigation system from VW is a no-brainer smart system. The VW CC is quite a styling statement on the same lines as the Mercedes-Benz CLS. It's also polarizing. Some find it way over the top, especially for a people car from Volkswagen. Others think it looks downright awesome. Everyone has their own opinions when it comes to cars, and uh, I know that all too well when you read the reviews of my reviews on the website. Sometimes, ouch, I can take it. Well, I think Volkswagen did a swell job making a four-door coupe, whatever that means. It's a great car to drive. It's based on a Passat. You can't go wrong with that. You'll pay about $1,000 more for this version than the normal Passat. But again, you're paying for a car that looks a little different. And in this world of uh, cars that look alike, I think different is good. It drives great. It's safe. What else can you ask for? About $39,000 for this car, the Passat or Volkswagen CC. Cool car. My name is Mike West. Remember, there are no bad cars these days, just bad drivers. See ya.